we going right here. Right out here. All you have to do is show up. Take it from a customer right here in the Is it? Oh God! Actually, somebody was not. We'll still. <coughs> the flowers have been absolutely beautiful this year. We've had a longer and cooler winter than normal, and uh, Devin Hill like the cool weather, so it has really helped having all this cool weather. Now they're probably at their peak this weekend. By next weekend, they may not be. Boy Scout troop. Boys work the Red Eagle project. Uh, I think this came up on the on, on one of the websites. Yeah. And Miss Lee never lived in this cabin. She lived downtown Blackwater. Uh, 
freshmen didn't have much money when they got made. When the oil boom came in in the, I think the 30s, early 30s, he got into the oil business and they got rich overnight. Uh, and then who lived in this, this place? Well, this, this lady didn't have any children. She wanted to leave a legacy for the future generations. She had this. It's a replica of the early log cabin, uh, and she wanted something for the future generations to, to look at and know how the pioneers lived. Uh, she never lived here. Uh, she, however, she come out here with uh, some of the ladies that worked for her. The lady at the gate, her mother and grandmother worked for this lady, and they would come out here with her, especially during the daytime. They were deer and, and rabbits and squirrels and everything all around. And, uh, Back in the days, they built, they built this in 1956, and I was in Blackwater then, and it was a busy town. Uh, had a, no less than 10 refineries within the city limits, and uh, most of the stores opened 24 7, so she was pretty busy. It, Blackwater was busy, so she'd come out here to get away from it all. And on rare occasions, the weather was right, then she would spend the night out here. But she had. Uh, one of these daffodils, and I had read somewhere, or someone told me, she had originally ordered a box of daffodils from Holland to put around her cabin. When it came in, it was a box car, though. So that's why we have so many daffodils. We have not planted any more daffodils. These are all the original. And now they multiply. So, but these are the original daffodils that are shipped here from Holland. She wanted after her death the garden to be open to the public. She died in uh, 1984 at the age of 77. And uh, in the spring of 85, and we opened the garden. That garden was open. And it's uh, controlled by a foundation. Since she didn't have children, she had a nephew up in the Dallas area. They formed this foundation. The reason we don't charge admission to come in was strictly on donations. But, uh, well, it's a very beautiful place. We have a lot of folks who come in. Couldn't hardly find a parking place over here all day yesterday. <laughs> People coming in. And on spring break next week, I feel like it's going to be that way then. Yeah, so well, y'all enjoy it. My wife's inside the cabin to explain what all the bad things. Thank you. There's an old wooden building over there, right by on the other side of that bus. That's where they have to go to bathroom. The outhouse. Yes, and they go out here and get their water, draw water up in that bucket.